Hi guys, Alyssa from Trio Realtors here today to continue our educational series on contracts. At Trio, our goal is for you to have the most stress-free experience when buying a home. And guess what is stressful? surprises. We want you to be prepared, so we offer a free consultation that will give you an in-depth dive into what the process of buying a home looks like. We walk you through upfront costs like inspections and down payments and timelines so you know what steps come next. If you're a seller, we take you step by step through what we do differently to price and market your home that is best in the business. We want you to be knowledgeable. If you caught Brett's last video, he talked about how a contract works, what you can expect when you make or accept an offer, and what options you have if you realize it really isn't the property for you. We want you to trust that we are the pros, which is what I'll be discussing today. Any agent can fill in the blanks on a pre-formatted contract, but I'll talk about what we do differently that will make sure your offer gets accepted in this competitive market if you're a buyer, or what we do on the seller side to make sure you get what you want from the sale of your home. Sometimes it's not just about price. As a buyer's agent, one of the most important steps we can take when preparing your contract to purchase is to actually call the seller's agent. Seems simple, but in my experience, most agents don't do it. We already know what is important to you because we talked about it during your initial consultation and during showings, but we want to know what is important to the sellers that will make your offer stand out above the others. The questions we will ask depend on several factors, like if there are multiple offers or if the house has been on the market for a while, but the goal is to make sure the sellers are excited to accept your offer as is or leave little room for negotiating terms such as occupancy date or length of inspections. Chances are, if the sellers have had a deal fall through in the past and it kept the house off the market for more than two weeks, they may want a short inspection period. Or if they have to close on the sale of their home in order to purchase and will be faced with back-to-back -back closings, they may need a couple of days to get their things moved out and into the next house, so they may not want to give occupancy at close. Being thoughtful about their needs, especially when they don't conflict with yours, can set you above the pack. And if you are the sellers, we will make sure we have an in-depth conversation with you about what your sticking points are, so we can communicate those to any agents who have exp expressed that they're preparing an offer or as a counter offer on your end if necessary. Any counteroffer from either side can lead to the other party walking away, so being proactive and having important terms transparent from the beginning can save time and ensure that the best deal can be worked out without a lot of waiting and wondering. After all, the negotiating part of the process can be the most stressful for both the buyer and the seller, and it's our job to remove any doubt so we can go into a purchase confidently and you can focus on your daily life and exciting things about moving, like planning where your furniture will go or what paint color you want in the bathroom. I hope you found this helpful, and if you have any other questions, reach out on TrioRealtors.com for more info. See you next time!